Okay, it's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107 out and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your fault, Be High Radio shouting, stepping in the building. I got my A Time family in this thing. DJ Tokars, what's good with it, my dog? Ah, uh, what's good with you, man? Bless, man. bless, bless. Feeling good, feeling great as always. I mean, but Tok, just talk to me, man. For those that don't understand, what the mayor's been up to and what you've been doing for this city and just putting it down on a legendary level. Can you break it down for him one time? Man, we're going to first just start it off, man, when I uh, just stepped foot in this, man. I knew I was going to do this music. I started off doing uh, rapping. That's you know right. What I'm saying? A lot of folks, you know what I'm saying, uh, know me from rapping, man. And uh, when I had got started, it was like, you know, I was seeing the way the game goes and I was doing my research and I was like, the average career of a rapper is like three to five years if you're lucky. Yeah, I love music so much. I knew I want to be a part of it. And I want to make a statement in the city. So what I had did is uh, I had started a music shop, you know what I'm saying, downtown 82 Peach Street. Yeah. And it was basically like the hub. It was the internet before the internet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you want to go get those mixed CDs, man, I had everybody. I was blessed for like uh, Scream to bring those classes, mixtapes, yeah. school, drama, you know what I'm saying, Jelly, shout out yeah. to the Oom Camp. Yeah. And that's really where... It, it started, you know what I'm saying? That was like where I first got my six figures in this game, man. You know what I'm saying? And this one, the game was like beating, you know what I'm saying? So like the camp band, the snowmans, the yeah. classic shouted lows, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like um, a thing where I was just like, man, this is what I'm going to do. And I just made my stamp and it was my way of just breaking records. So when yeah. the like snap move, movement was going on, you had like the pool palace, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing. And it was waves going but they wanted to know how they can get the record. So, yeah. like, I was at place downtown, and, like, everybody was down there, man. And yeah. came through right by shots out of Eddie Gold, right yeah. next to Eddie Gold, you know what I'm saying, down downstairs, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And I had the studio, so I was just working with the artists and just blessing the city like that. Exactly. And then from there, we went on to just do the uh, clubs, man. I started off after hours, you know what I'm saying. I made, I made these guys come get dressed it. 2 a.m. in the morning, man, and <laughs> hang out with me to 10, man. And, yeah. and there's a lot that went on there, you know what I mean? I can recall you cranking up that Ritz, too. Oh, man. I Talk did, to me. Man, I'm telling you, every club, really, man, you know what I'm saying? I did the uh, strip club. I was in the strip club for 10-plus years, man, yeah. from the Onyx, Deja Vu, uh, man, it, Foxy Ladies, you know what I'm saying? Just doing my thing, and I just knew, like, you know, the, uh, the strip club was just a way that artists can get that record and that instant you know, turn up, you know what I'm saying? The girls just co-signing, let you know what's going on with your records, man. You had all the dope boys coming through, the athletes, you know what I'm saying? If you're in Atlanta, you know that every, you never know who you're going to see and who's going to walk in that club, you know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of situations, deals that were made or whatnot, you know? And then, like, I, I think, uh, I had to say, like, Rocco yeah. was the first person that actually, like, you know what I'm saying, put on, like, social media, like mm -hmm. he's doing a and yeah. for A1. And Come on. Uh, when he did that, it was just like the world knew the man was in the building. Talk to me about that, though, man, linking up with my dog Rocco, man, and being able to get busy because, you know, Rocco is another A-Town veteran that put it down for the town. So, I mean, explain you and his relationship and what y'all was able to work, to, uh, work on together. Well, Rocco was just somebody that was just like, uh, you know, uh, shouts out to Bloody J. Bloody, Love Doe yeah, J. Bloody J used to come through there, and, uh, and, you know, he was just getting started, and I was just like, and he would come to the club, and I'd be like, man, what you got? Give me something. Give me something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it was like the artist I was working with, he was paying attention to. Like, man, God damn. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> His shit going crazy. You know what I'm saying? This one of my artists, and he just took a lightning to what I was doing, and yeah. from there we just like, linked up and you know i used to just like rocco one of those cats man you just gotta pick at his brain man when yeah. you talk to rocco it's like playing chess yeah. you know what i'm saying so i just like you know look at him and just be like that's somebody i really look up to and it was just like i mean he's the don so now also fast forward you was out there on the road with the goody mob though man oh man well what that situation was uh i was doing the interviews you know what i'm saying Kip. And let me just say this, first and foremost, Gip was somebody that was very influential and me just growing up and maturing in the game. All of our lives, man. You know I mean? Yeah. Uh, he took a lightning to me, you know, me just being from Camelton Road. Facts. And um, he had just seen me do certain things, whether it was wrong or right, and he had just, you know what I'm saying, pull me to the side <laughs> and be like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying, I... I'd be on IG, you know what I'm saying, going on, you know, just expressing myself. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the few cats that would just take to the 
take to my uh you know my back my back porch on the deck just, yeah just popping popping my shit whether exactly. it was good or bad and uh Gip had told me something real important. He was like, Mel, man, check this out, man. You, you you really setting the tone for the city. Yeah. So if you see me now, man, I make sure everything I say is positive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, I wake up and, you know, it really did set the mood for the city. Exactly. And, we, and when he did that, it was just love. And uh, I did an interview with Cool Joe. Yeah. And I have this series called Street Gospel. Yeah. You know, so... Uh, along me dropping my mixtapes, every Tim CD is like paying tithes. Mm. And with that, it's like uh, nobody can really, you know, pay to get on that. You know what I'm Facts. saying? You got to be making that music mm -hmm. that is really uplifting the people or whatnot. That's right. And um, uh, Cujo had caught wind of it, and they invited me out to Chicago. Uh, well, first I had uh, actually did uh, the Funk Fest. Mm. We're talking about thousands of people yeah they put the mail on the big screen man opening up for a man <laughs> snoop dog you know what i'm saying and i was just like wow you yeah. know what i'm saying and like shouts out to the dungeon family because they really uh got behind the mayor and was just like you know this is what's going on that's you right know? and they made a stand they flew me out to uh chicago mm -hmm. and i remember timo talking to me and cool joe because uh CeeLo and gip hasn't got haven't got there yet yeah and they was just like when i got in the car i was like man you know what i'm saying just so just geeked about the situation exactly. you know what i'm saying i'm like man these are the legends that's right and i remember cujo looked at me and was like man what's going on with that street gospel exactly. and i was like I, at the time i was like i didn't even know he was listening to it yeah and he was like that we need more of that and less of, you know what i'm saying less of the other exactly and i just took that you know and we moved forward to now we just going crazy, man, breaking records, you know, uh, on the, you know, on uh, a platform, my mixtapes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Brandon. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And anybody that really just watched the mayor do his thing, uh, coming from the after hours to like having a voice for the city, they know the growth. They exactly. see the growth. You understand know what I'm saying? And it, and, it, and it, like, with me, that's the most important thing is growth. Exactly. You know what I mean? So exactly. That's what's going I on. I mean, you got B in the building. B, I mean, break down that My Mixtapes movement to them, though, man, because y'all boys been getting busy for a minute, too, though. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, we have. Shit. Yeah. Especially me since I got put onto the team. Shit. Yeah. This back in 2015. Uh-huh. But, shit, I met Tote Cars. It was, what, the meet and greet we did 2016 yeah, that, yeah, at Medusa? And, and, yeah. Uh -huh. Club, yeah, Club Medusa. Yeah, mm -hmm. ever since then, shit, we just been rocking. Like, honestly, and, bro, the, the tapes and just how everything's been putting on, like, uh -huh. even tow cars, like, I just been telling them, like, since the beginning, ever since he started doing Street Gospel, Street Smoke. Uh -huh. Street Smoke is my personal favorite series, bro, because, you know, it got that fire on it. Yeah. And if you really trying to get on that shit, like, you got to come with that heat. Like, ain't, ain't no question about it, you feel me? Exactly. But shit, if from the covers and shit, just letting them know, like, we got to step that shit up. My dog stepped it up. Exactly. It quality, he just been moving, you feel me? And yeah. shit, now where you at? Like, Man. over what? How many uh, million streams? Millions. I, I, last time I checked, it was like 30 million. Yeah. Oh! It was like 30 million. Yeah. And I, like I said, I, I thank my mixtape just for giving me that. Because, like, when we had met yeah. or whatnot, it was just me coming off uh, dealing with the politics of the club. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And me, you know, coming from the streets or whatnot, I was just like, man, I got to find another you know, wave, and uh, shout out to DJ Scream. Scream. And I was, yeah, I was just like in that situation, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say the company. I was like, man, what's up? Why ain't give me a, a account or whatnot with, it, with, with, it, with these other people, whatnot, man? I'm the, I'm the male, man. What's going on, exactly. man? You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think, man, I did Drove Dro Hellcat, uh, King Kong, Runway Richie, China, yeah. China Cafeteria, Hot Boy Turk, Young and Thug and Two, you know, uh, Cool America, you know? Yeah. Like, people don't know, like, man, nine times out of ten, you have... Uh, 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 DJ Toe Cars mixtape in your phone or on your playlist. Exactly. You know, you, oh, you did that. I get a lot of that. You, mm -hmm. you, you did that. Yeah. So it was like a thing when I when I met uh Brandon. I I had came through. Uh, shouts out to T Money or whatnot. You know, it was an event they did at uh Club Medusa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, I remember I came. Movie. Yeah, I came in that thing like fifty D. Yep. <laughs> bro, no, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna guess you, bro. Came <laughs> to me. He's like, look, look, come <laughs> here, follow me right quick. <laughs> yeah. Who am I? Mayor of the streets. Bet. Who am I? Mayor of the street. I'm Man, talking about everybody. Who am I? Mayor of like, the street. Like, he don't went around, got like, down the whole club. Like, I was just like, I, I remember because I was like, man, look, I'm the mayor of the streets. And Brandon had looked at me like, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm like, walk with it. <laughs> I'm talking about everybody. I know, lie, yeah, spoiled it. We get that shit a lot. You feel yeah. me? But yeah. I'm glad he did that because he put it in perspective for me. Like, yeah, bro, like, I ain't playing around. Exactly. Now, nah, these like, are facts. I'm that really we doing speak. this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so when it comes to being a record breaker and understanding what's hot, what are the telltale signs that it's about to go down for an artist that you can see off the top when you first touch the music or, you know, you start to get involved with the movement? Well, I, I like to say this is like, man, you got to have a movement. Come on now. You got to have a movement because it's like you got to separate the boys from the men. Everybody's rapping right now. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not one of those people where you got to have a 100,000 followers, but you have to have something going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the the best thing that I like when I do posts and I and I, I might say something general like uh, tag the hottest artist yeah. or whatnot, and I look into them or whatnot. And I say, because you, if you have one person that think you hot, yeah, I'm fucking with it. Come on. I, I really don't like that shit to come from an artist because everybody feels like that. That's you know? right. You know what I'm saying? It's like you knocking down a chick, man. Is that girl saying <laughs> what, what you saying <laughs> to your homeboy? You feel what I'm come saying? Like you got to have that, you know what I'm saying? You got to have that real cosign to exactly. let me know what's going on. And then I, I, I'm in the street, so I know what's going on. So when you deal with somebody like, you know, the, the, the streets, uh, Brought me money, man. Yeah, and was just, like listen to him before, before he even like popped off or whatnot. Mm. And it, and it was crazy because I hooked up with him like that same week. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just and we got some work done. I think in the next week I was on the road with him, and mm. I was just letting people know in the city, man. This dude is hot. Like you know what I'm saying. Exactly. He, this dude going crazy. He's been on all my mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? He got that work. And I think, like, to this day, man, I don't think he has too many songs I don't like. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, Money Man yeah, Hard. Yeah, yeah, like, he's, he's one of those, like, Rowdy Rich, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. well, well, you know, can you make, you know, you batting a thousand right now, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you go to, like, you know, the Dope Boy Rods and the Runway oh, Riches, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, some shit is undeniable. Come and, on now. And me, sometimes it's not about the money. We want to see people win. Come like, on now. You know, we want to see you win. So if you have that, that content, like, you know, like with no cap, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, so like, no, you know, cap, yeah, no cap. That is like a major part is this platform and the DJs that are actually letting the world hear what's going on. Exactly. So when I, I mean, I tell people all the time, man, you know, yeah, man, you doing your thing, man, you, you know, you, you doing uh, mixtapes, you doing numbers, and I be like, yeah, man, I'm like the number one mixtape DJ in the world. Yeah. WWW stand for what? Worldwide Web. Facts. So if you you know we ain't gonna do no capping around here, you know what I'm saying? If you if you can find a DJ that's doing more numbers than me, in the last couple of years, man, I stopped saying that. Until then, you gotta give me me. Come on now, and I want them to see if if they can show it to me on the app too, because he's the only DJ that consistently drop. He dropped goddamn damn yeah. near every motherfucking week weekend. Yeah, man, every two weeks. Every two weeks. Every, every two weeks. In a playlist for like the like the last two and a half years. Ever since when I got that opportunity, man, praise the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lord the God in the highest. And I was like, you know, this is the opportunity I wanted, man. This is this is like why you ain't in the club? I'm living. Exactly. I was drinking every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. You know that. I feel you. So, uh, so I ain't in the club, man. I got some years on my life. Yeah. You feel me? Cause I was in the club every every night. Doing Thanks. my thing, and I and I'm glad it happened. Yeah. And the same thing I was doing in the club, when I was just actually like breaking records. When you talking about somebody on Camelton Road, and uh, Joe Green comes from uh, Scottsdale. Yeah. And when he comes, you know, I'm playing a record a cappella. Ooh. And they saying and they they saying every word word for word. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's just, and it was documented. You know what I'm saying? I was doing the you know my uh, the mayor's day where I'm just bringing the Rocco's. Long little uh, bank road, he coming really? through. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like, you know, even bank road be like, man, I need you right here. Yeah, I need you right here. I got, you know, what I'm saying, pretty boy time. He on the road with him, but I yeah. need you right here to hold down these streets or whatnot. Exactly. You feel me? And it was just certain things that were uh, that were happening. I was just like, man, it's going down. Like the first uh, record that somebody recorded for me and like went in the studio was shouted low. Uh, you know, on the I'm the man beat, yeah. did a song, Mayor of the Streets, and it just sound like uh, uh, an intro to a radio show yeah. or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, but I'm in the streets with this, and I'm opening up my sets with this. Come you know on what I'm saying? Now. So you talking about, uh, you know, the, the, the Ty Strongs. 
the shouted giants. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These are the people I'm DJing for, and they loving what's going on. Yeah. So with that being said, you know, it was just big shit that was going on. Then shouts out to JT, the bigger figure, who just really gave me that. Yeah. I think it was like, the, it was the first show that uh, Gucci Man and Future did together at Club Libra, and, and uh, uh, Fig had told me, you the DJ. Ooh. And I was like, damn, I'm the DJ. You know what I'm saying? You gonna give me that? Yeah. He was like, man, look, I'm. I remember going on line and seeing everybody saying they were gonna be the DJ for this yeah. event. And I called JT like, man, what the fuck going on, man? <laughs> like everybody saying they the DJ. He was like, man, if you let them niggas, you know what I'm saying, take take that position from you. Exactly. That's what it is. So I was Ooh. like, I called my team up, so called DJ, and I was just like, we was in there, and we held that down. Mm -hmm. And I remember just the owner from all the clubs that I was working at just seeing me in that light. Yeah. And just like and that's like what I like what's going on with you where you actually tuned in to the streets. Yeah. You feel me? And you just working with everybody and we and we chop it up. We got big things on the way too. I'm now. here for it. You I'm feel here what I'm for saying? it. Like and I, and I told Brandon the same thing. We got some big things going on. And ever since he gave me that car, I haven't looked back. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Lastly, Tope. Can you break it down for the up and coming person in the A town, coming from these Camden and Rose streets, these West Side streets, these Zone Six streets, these Decatur streets that want to do what you did? What is it that they What is it that they need to prepare for and get their mind wrapped around, man? Man, being consistent. Yeah, that's the number one thing. That's the number one thing because I drop I drop classic mixtapes and it was just like, you know what I'm saying? It was just that, but being consistent, foot on their neck. Come on now. You feel what I'm saying? Going harder and harder. Challenging myself. You know, uh, that was the main thing. And always keep my ear to the street. That's because right. a lot of people uh, talk about the youth or whatnot, but the youth is the future. And I feel like once you get tapped out of that, you no you longer, the game. It, yeah, you no longer relevant. Come on. You mm -hmm. no longer relevant. So I embrace the future. You know, because if you can't get with what, and, and they geniuses. Come on now. I mean, they taking social media and making it bigger than what a label can do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For you got people on IG. You think about the song that went diamond this this year. Yeah. Yeah. This man wasn't old enough to get in the club. How he worked that one, huh? Oh. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So like, and then you like, who was his producer? Oh, he got the beat online. Okay, that makes the artist look at this and be like, what the hell I'm doing wrong? Come on now. You know, it got to be your time. You got to be consistent, you know, because a lot of people just, everybody feels like they that guy. Come on. Everybody. Everybody feels like they got, and they should. Exactly. They should feel that way. That, But what are you doing? You got to be consistent, being on folks' face. So that's why I always get props to Runway, Dope Boy Ra, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just everybody that's dropping on a consistent basis mm -hmm. and letting these folks know what's going on. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. And, you know, that, that'd be my key. What, what would you say? What would you say? No, nah, really and truly, that's that's the number one thing, consistency. Like, yeah. You got to really put your foot on their neck and, like, make sure the attention does not go away from you. Because exactly. as soon as you do that, it's just like that. You out of tune, that's it. It's over with, finito. Like, you ain't, you ain't about to do nothing. Because exactly. there's only a very few artists that have been able to actually come back from being in that hole, from having the spotlight on them. Exactly. But it, you feel me? It's, it's literally luck of the draw. Like, are you going to be that person that's going to fall and get back up, or is you going to be the one that stands up the whole entire time? And just exactly. stay down. People, it, 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 it's almost like sometimes it may be that fifth year. That fifth year, like you think about it in school, you know what I'm saying? You got that four years, you know what I'm saying? You got that four years in college, then you go to the league. That's right. You feel me? You got that select few that coming straight out of high school. I don't think they doing it no more, but you had that that one in a million. Exactly. That, was, that, that go. Coming, yeah, that was going. Yeah. But you got to think about it like this, man. With everything that's going on, you have to stay down. You have to keep going and grinding. Like I say, people are just picking up on what you got going on. And the great thing about this, right, mm -hmm. if you put in that work, once they discover what you have going on, you got that archive. Come on now. Uh -huh. When you got well, hey, when you got that archive, they gonna play catch up. Come on. Oh man, this nigga been coming like this. Mm -hmm. And that also gives you a chance to take a breather. Take a breather and and and, and work on something that you know what I'm saying. That, to change you know, it up by the time they realize what the hell's going exactly. on, you on to some whole new exactly. stuff on their ass. Exactly. exactly. But lastly, how can these folks contact y'all boys, man? Oh man, Shit. definitely. Oh, yeah. Really and truly, IG, any any form of social media, Twitter. Talk to me about that My Mixtape IG, because that thing goes crazy as well, <laughs> man. 
I ain't gonna lie to you, dude. Like, shit. It's just really us standing in tune, like, giving the people what they want. Yeah. That's really what it is. Like, we got from the funny shit to the music, being on the date with all the news. Like, That's it's right. a one stop shop. Like, exactly. You feel me? Follow us on my mixtape. I can dig you it. You feel me? Tote. Hey, man, you already know, uh, at the mayor of the streets. Um, and then you can also follow me at the mayor motherfucker, and that's uh, M U T H A uh, F U C K A. Um, and just like that's my platform where we're getting into movies, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Uncle Fish Grease, we got yeah. the character going crazy, man. Shouts out, <laughs> I, last but not least, man, shouts out to my family out in Cali that really put me on Lil 100, man. Yeah. Nardo that like really just took a character and seen what I, that's what I love about social media. They actually seen something that the uh you know people around me in the city were just like oh that's dope that you're doing. They got yeah. a couple of laughs, but they actually like took it, took me to the join down projects, put me in a uh, a video, and that thing did millions and opened up other doors for me. So yeah. like you know that's what we're doing. Like you were saying with the breather, we taking time and actually. Getting uh, more LLCs going, man. Thanks. Getting into the movies, man. You got to think, man. This Camerton Road, man. Tyler Perry around the corner. Come huh? on now. <laughs> Holla at me now. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, this is Hollywood right now. You know what I'm saying? So you are, actually got to work every move. You know, right. on the podcast that we got going on. Shouts out to Fly Top. We got the uh, couples therapy where we're just going to be talking about goals with relationships. How to actually, you know, make this thing work. Mm-hmm. Being in the club. And being in a relationship, being exactly. in the industry, and being in a relationship, and still trying to find that way, you know. Um, exactly. Yeah. So everybody you know, need that. It's yeah, real out here. Yeah. So it's just like a lot of opportunity, but you know, on IG, catch me, man. And shouts out, last but not least, shouts out to ATL Top Twenty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got the mixtape DJ of the year. You feel what I'm that's saying? That's dope. You know, for the first annual, and that meant something because- now That's real. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, you know, and you know, and uh, you know, the coalition DJs, Yeah. you know, uh, Funky X, everybody that just like played Damn. a part. Because yeah. like one thing you gotta realize, it's a team. You know, yeah. I, I had to bring, you know what I'm saying, Brandon to let him know that it's love. Exactly. You feel and he really changed my life, you know what Come I'm on. saying, and put me in a situation where I don't have to be in the streets as much and still can touch a bigger audience, so exactly. that's what's happening. I'm loving that. Mm-hmm. Oh, huh? B. My guy. Appreciate y'all boys coming through this thing, man. Wish y'all number the best and much success. Be high radio shout it. It's hot 1079, man. Let's go.